What is up, fellow Pyro fanatics? It's Pimp Daddy 28 here. And today I'm going to show you guys the sixth and final firework stash update for my 2018 4th of July uh, firework stash. I uh, went to Sandusky Fireworks uh, to pick up a few items. And uh, definitely, definitely interested in uh, quite a few of these items uh, that I picked up. Scott was uh, also was nice enough uh, to give me a few free items as well. And he wanted me to demo uh, a few uh, cakes as well for him. So we'll kind of get through it as I'm, I'm going along here. And I don't want to make this video too long. So I'm going to probably start as quickly as, or go through this as quickly as I can. So for returning this year, we got the Faces of Death canister shells by dragon slayer and these are pretty much the reigning champions from last year's uh canister shell comparison that i did these are one of some of the best uh canister shells that i've ever lit off um and i'm definitely uh definitely happy to bring them back into the fold to see if uh they can uh, beat everyone else out so i'm kind of expecting that they'll come out on top again but you never know who knows so all right um Along with those, we also I also picked up uh, a box of, well, I can't say this is a box of Everest cans completely because uh, Scott was nice enough to kind of do a little bit of a mix and match and kind of put some, kind of split boxes and put uh, sleeves of other shells and whatnot. And with this one, I got a sleeve of five uh, Everest cans. And if I turn it around here... I got a sleeve of uh, six Echo in the Ear shells. So he pretty much just kind of put the Echo in the Ear on with the Everest cans in here. Also got a sleeve of the Pro Shells by Biggs Fireworks. Now, I uh, was able to light off Pro Shells for the first time last year thanks to uh, uh, West PA Pyro. Uh, also known as uh, Chuck uh, from Pyro Dudes. He was nice enough to uh, give me a free box of uh, uh, Pro Shells. And uh, let me tell you, one thing I like about Pro Shells, and even though I didn't have them before last year, a lot of people have told me that Pro Shells have been like probably the most consistent 60 gram canister shell ever since they first came out. Like they're always like good every year. And they don't have like one bad year or anything like that, just like the x or some of the other shells on the market. So uh, definitely, uh, definitely wanted to put or include these in uh, in my comparison for this year. Now uh, these shells, and I know you guys are gonna have questions, and they're the Phantom uh, Grucci canister shells. Um, here's a story of, of why I picked these shells up. And I usually don't pick up any Phantom products, but there's a reason why I picked these up. Now the last time I went to the Phantom store, which was about three, four years ago. Um, when I made my purchase, uh, I also had a coupon with me, uh, like a gas coupon or something like that, um, where I would get like a free $70 item. So I preferred to pick up these shells, and I wanted to pick up these shells. While my brother, and my idiot brother, and uh, my cousin Tony, whom I mentioned before on this channel, God rest his soul, uh, he wanted, uh, they wanted to pick up two items that totaled up to $70 rather than pick up just one item for it was worth $70. I mean, Phantom has high prices, so it is what it is. Um, so they ended up picking up, they, not me, because I didn't choose these items, a 180-some uh, shot Roman candle barrage that was all color. It wasn't all that. And also the shittiest of shitty Skyrockets that, I've ever seen, at least from Phantom, and they're, they were called the Vector 9 Rockets, and that was my brother's choice, so <sighs> I was kind of really pissed off, especially after I, I saw how those items performed, so, um, and I, I wasn't about to go back to Phantom, because I wasn't intending to shop at Phantom anymore just to get these shells, a six pack of shells for 70 bucks, I mean, it's not, I know it's the buy one, get one, and whatnot, and it's not usually that price, but, I mean, $35 is still high, so, for six shells but scott was uh very very nice enough to give me a good deal on these shells and i just couldn't pass up uh, that deal so i opted to pick them up just to see how they perform and these even have the uh the uh the black top on them that you see with like uh like the x gals and a lot of the other shells uh that uh have them today i think echo in the ear that 
they're on the other side. They have them as well. Pro Shells uh, don't have them, which is kind of a surprise, but um, it is what it is. So, so uh, all together we have uh, five more canister shells, different canister shells that we're going to include in the canister shell comparison this year. There's two in that box, so you guys don't get confused. Um, and that brings the total up to 17 different types of canister shells for this year's comparison. So I'm definitely, I'm definitely want to, I definitely want to get more of these uh, shells in the comparison for this year. I know last year we had like around 11 or 12, so it's about maybe five or six more different uh, canister shells for this year added to the comparison. So definitely excited about that. Um, also picked up uh, a pack of these uh, double brake shells, Pyro Normal Experience, uh, six uh, double brake shells. And as you guys know, I'm, I already talked about how ball shells are pretty much kind of headed down the crapper and with all the fake ball shells out there and whatnot. And I asked Scott if he had any uh, good ball shells that he could recommend, and he told me that these were the best double brakes uh, that he had in his store. So told him I'm, I'm definitely willing to buy these because I know ball shells are kind of pretty much on the way out and I'd like to be able to light off some double brakes one more time before I kind of I guess pretty much hang it up and opt to keep the single brakes that I have and obviously with the double brakes I don't have too many of those so maybe I'll keep one of them and I'll just light the rest haven't really decided but uh picked up these shells as well um and I think that's pretty much it as far as the shells all right, so on to the cakes now. All right, so I decided to pick up a case of Mother of All Bombs uh, from Sandusky Fireworks. I mentioned before that Sandusky is uh, offering wholesale for the first time this year. So I took advantage of uh, their wholesale pricing and I purchased uh, a case rather than... I was intending just to pick up one retail, but I opted for the case because it was a better price. So got uh, two of these Mother of All Bombs and... There is no performance listed on this cake. It's just one description, and that is Nishiki Kamuro. And if uh, all you uh, pyro hobbyists out there experience, are, are experienced or know that effect, um, you know that there are pretty much 1.3 cakes that have that effect, as well as 1.4 Pro, specifically the 76 Pro line cake with the Nishiki Kamuro title on the cake. So basically what that is is that it's like a, a willow, that pretty a golden willow that pretty much hangs for such a long time and it even it hangs for so long that it even reaches the ground in some instances that's how big of a, a willow it is and it's a very very nice effect according to what scott told me this is like the best nine of a nine on a board cake that he's seen since uh when wacky tobacco first came out wacky tobacco is still a great cake but it, hasn't really been as good as it's been watered down a little bit basically it hasn't been as good as what it when it first came out but uh, this is pretty much like Wacky Tobacco when it first came out. Um, but the willows on it are a lot a lot bigger for sure. And I, I'm definitely excited. I'm hoping I could demo one of these cakes this weekend. Don't know if I'll be able to do that. But I'll definitely try to do it by next weekend for sure. Okay guys, so uh, got some uh, cakes here that uh, uh, Scott pretty much picked out for me. That he wanted me to demo for him. Now four of the cakes uh, he picked out. And uh, one of them I kind of picked out for myself that I wanted to demo, and I'm pretty sure you guys probably know what I heard it is. It's uh, pretty much uh, this one over here, Academic Pyro. Now, uh, Scott has both of these cakes. Uh, Sandusky Fireworks has both of these cakes uh, in their store. And um, decided to pick out this one just because, you know, it's got the 54 shots and kind of like a callback to the Type 54 and all that stuff. So, um, plus I might pick up uh, Pyro Dave uh, next year to kind of give me something to look forward to. So um, There is no performance on this cake or description, but, you know, with Dave being on this cake, that's all the description I need. So I uh, can't wait to definitely shoot this cake off. Um, I'm hoping I, I can get a chance to demo it this weekend, if not this weekend, hopefully within the next week or so. So definitely uh, can't wait to, uh, to see how this uh, cake looks uh, up close. All right, um, now as for the cakes that uh, Scott picked out, uh, we got Dirty Little Secret, which is 24 shots, and it's by World Class. And the performance, I believe, is on the side, so I'm going to have to move some stuff around here. All right, so the performance is Silver Whirly Tail 
to blue with red falling leaves, chrysanthemum with green falling leaves, red tail, green tail to red, green, blue, purple lemon with green, white, glitter, chrysanthemum. And the uh, theme effect is whirly tail, falling leaves, and glitters. Uh, the colors are silver, blue, red, green, purple, and white. And there are the pictures of the effects. Alright, All right, down here we got uh, Eagle Hunter by Cutting Edge. And this is a 30 shot cake. It's a finale cake. And the performance, I believe, yep, it's up here. We got the uh, gold tail, the red, green, yellow, blue, purple, and gold glitter with green glitter. Uh, theme effect is glittering tail uh, glitter. And colors are red, green, yellow, blue, purple, and gold. And the display angle is Z, or uh, fan effect. All right, so uh, we got the, a window cake here. It's called Win Wings of Fire, and it's a 30-shot cake. And the performance is up top over here. And we got Astonishing Firewalls of Brocade Mine to Brocade Crown. Yeah, the, these, this cake has a lot of brocades in it. I saw a video of it. And it looked very, very nice. And down here we got Helix by Brothers. And this is a 30 shot cake. So this is also a finale cake. And the performance, I believe, is on the side over here. And you got the barcode scanner as well. We got Don't Spiral Out of Control with Brocade the Blue. Sea Blue Purple, Lemon Purple, and bright green stars to red, gold, green, silver, green, and gold glitter. 30 shots. All right, so that's pretty much uh, it for the cakes. Now we're going to get to some small stuff that I also picked up from Sandusky Fireworks. And it's kind of stuff that I always wanted to get, or rather I should say it's been a while since I've uh, gotten. So I picked up uh, some Black Cat Firecrackers here. It has been probably it has been probably 22, maybe 23 years since I've lit off Black Cat Firecrackers, ever since I was a little kid, so it's been a while. And from what I hear, um, Black Cat Firecrackers are pretty much some of the best firecrackers out there on the 1.4 category, so definitely glad to finally have these, uh, these firecrackers again because it's, it's been a while. So this is uh, half a brick. Also got a 500 roll of Black Hat Firecrackers. Funny thing is, is, on this one, it says DOT Class C, and then it says Consumer Fireworks 1.4 G UN 0336 below that. I've never seen a uh, pack of firecrackers that had both uh, labels, the DOTC label and the UN label at the same time. So, very interesting. Also picked up a, a gross of uh, Black Hat Bow Rockets. We all know these are probably some of the best bow rockets on the market. Um, also uh, picked up a pack of uh, Silver Fox Rockets. Scott uh, pretty much uh, gave these uh, pack uh, to me for free. He had a few left over. I don't think he, he sells these anymore at his store, but he kind of had a few left over and he just uh, gave me a pack because uh, I think these are pretty much a little bit better than the, the regular Black Hat Bow Rockets. So. Alright, so up here we got the this uh, five-ball parachute uh, Roman candle by World Class. So pretty much this shoots parachutes. And I've never seen a Roman candle that shoots parachutes. So this was uh, a, definitely a recommended item by Scott. So I decided to pick it up. And also, this, from what he told me, this is one of his best uh, uh, assortment packs of uh, Roman candles. Uh, this is by World Class. There are five-shot Roman candles. And you got different ones here. You got Kapow. Bang bang boom boom and pow pow. And I'm pretty sure these have like effects, uh, different effects for each of them, but I don't know where they are. Oh, here they are. You got the performances you got silver wave with silver tail, green wave with green tail, red wave with red tail. So these are kind of like, like little repeaters on their own. At least that's what he told me. So can't wait to see how these perform. Also picked up a pack of uh, jumbo crackling balls by Brothers. Um, he told me these were actually one of some of the better crackling balls on the market. So I already picked up a couple packs from by uh, gosh I can't remember who they were about Texas Texas Outlaw. So uh, 
Can't wait to see how these perform. I might do a comparison between these and those, so, so stay tuned for that. I also picked up a box of these torpedo uh, cracker snaps. They're pretty much like adult snappers, kind of like those mandarin uh, snappers or whatever, or mandarin crackers, whatever you want to call them. Also uh, picked up this five parachute uh, with flag uh, single shot, not single shot, but it's a five shot tube. And what really drew me to this, he told me this was a very, very nice item, and this is by Black Cat, by the way, is, you know, kind of like the parachute with the flag, and, and I'm all about anything that's kind of has that patriotic feel, and definitely can't wait to see what uh, this looks like. Um, so, uh, that yeah, this one definitely caught my eye for sure. All right, um, he also suggested these little, this little novelty is a spinner. It's called Step On It, and it's by uh, Brothers. So uh, it's just a nice, really, really nice spinner. It's one of the best novelties that he has, so I decided to pick one up. Also got these Ground Bloom with Bomb. Uh, so basically these are Ground Blooms that spin and they explode. They have a report. So, uh... Never seen, don't really see too many ground blooms that have reports. And I don't, never thought that these really existed on the 1.4 level, but they do. And they're by Sky Bacon. So, uh, can't wait to see how these perform. If they perform pretty well, I'm going to have to get me a lot more, that, more of these next year. So, uh, definitely can't wait to see how these perform. And finally got a pack of Neon Sparklers by Black Cat. Now, like I said, I don't really buy sparkler, sparklers too much anymore, but these... These have caught my eye for a while. Um, thing is, I never had the opportunity, opportunity to get them because uh, outside of Sandusky Fireworks, uh, there aren't any stores that sell really Black Cat uh, products. So when I was at the store there, I saw these, and Scott said these were probably the best sparklers that Black Cat makes. So decided to pick these up, and uh, can't wait to see uh, what they look like. Might have my... Uh, Little second cousins hold these while I uh, record the demo for these, so just so you guys can see how they perform. Because I know they really like sparklers, so. And I believe that is pretty much it. So, this is the last and final stash update. I should be pretty much uh, bringing everything out and doing a video on my entire stash within the next couple of days, so uh, stay tuned for that. But for now, this is pretty much uh, my final stash update for 2018. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, should be doing quite a bit of demos pretty soon. Hopefully as soon as tomorrow, if the weather holds up. I heard there was going to be a lot of rain in, in our area here, so hopefully it won't be that, uh, too bad enough to, to where we can't do any demos. So, Alright, uh, I'll see you guys next time, and I am out.